Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to go and see what are the benefits of using a PoE powered switch to build a system for non-PoE and PoE IP devices. So we know that we can use many devices to set up a PoE network system, like a PoE switch, PoE injector, or PoE powered switch. And why does a lot of people choose PoE powered switch? is because most people have been understanding the benefits of PoE technology and they want to introduce PoE to their home-based network systems. Although many people like us, we have a network router in our home usually. This is like the basic setup for a home-based network system. But a router does not provide PoE features. Sometimes we already have a lot of things connected to our router and we don't want to like tear the whole thing down and set up a PoE switch. In this case, we can use a PoE powered switch. A powered switch, we can connect it to our router and then use the PoE injector to inject the power to our PoE powered switch. And hence, we will have a PoE system working and our network is upgraded to a PoE standard network. So let's take a look at this PoE powered switch. This is a four port PoE powered switch. The front panel, there is a, a blink port which will, will receive the PoE signals and this a blink port with the PoE signal will power the whole device and then we distribute the PoE signal to these four ports and these four ports will output PoE signals to the devices connected to it. If it's a non-PoE device, it will just transmit data instead. And you can see there, and you can see on the side here, on the back here, there is a DC adapter port. If we need to use like a DC adapter instead of a PoE injector, it is okay as well. And also we have like a ground spot for safety measures because this is a metal case. And it's a really small device so we can fit it in a lot of places. And if four ports is not enough for the devices we wish to connect, we also have a, a seven port model. This one has a total of eight ports and same as this one, it has one port, port number eight usually for the uplink port which receives the PoE signals and all seven ports are suitable for connecting to non-IP, non-PoE IP devices and PoE IP devices. And also it has a power outlet to connect to our, you know, to our alternating current as well if you wish to use a independent power supply, but usually we can just use PoE injector and it will inject PoE signals to the port. It would be more convenient sometimes because wherever we want to extend our network to, it might not have an alternating current right next to our waiting for us. In that case, a PoE powering this thing up would be very convenient. And after, for these two models, we this one can reach the way to 1000 megabits per second and 30 watts per port maximum, depends on the power budget. This one with four ports, it's about the same. And usually these two can all go another 100 meters with the IP devices connected to it. Now we've talked a lot about these PoE devices. Let's see how the basic setup is. So we have our Ethernet cables here and we're going to use a four port PoE power switch. So we have our router here and we use an ethernet cable to connect our router to our PoE injector. PoE injector it can usually be just set, sitting next to the router because well it only provides power but it doesn't need to be too far from our router. If our router has power there will be a power outlet as well. And now we connect our injector to our PoE power switch. And the injector has two ports. The Ethernet port is for data to go in. The Ethernet plus DC port is for PoE signals. It also has indicators so we can monitor the power status currently. Connect, connect port to the single uplink port. And then we should wait a second. Or the power should be coming through shortly. And voila, you can see the power indicator is on, meaning there's power through here. Now we're going to use another Ethernet cable. This can go all the way up to 100 meters, connect to any random four port, any port, and they'll connect to our IP camera. 
And you can see the blue indicator means there's power going through our IP camera currently. So our IP camera is resisting power and data at the same time. So now our connection is all set up. This means this connection is successful. All right, that's pretty much it for this PoE power switch. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.